Woohoo! And we are live. Yes. Just give me a second and let me pull up my chat log right here on my phone so I can see it. I'm trying out a different angle today. Hopefully this will work well. One can only... I can hear that. Oh. <laughs> All right. Hey, Donna, how you doing? So I'm going to be constructing today. Yes, I'm going to get my Bob the Builder on. And I'm going to be making a tower. Hey, you're awake. <laughs> hey, Sasson. How you doing? How you doing? So while I'm waiting for people to get in, let me start giving myself a little bit of a head start. I've got some wiring. This is like from Dollar Tree, this wiring right here. I've been saving my little tabs from my um, cans of beans and vegetables. So we're going to be using some of those. I'm going to be stringing them with some of this eBay chain that smells like pure metal. So we're going to be using it on this. So I'm just going to start kind of stringing this along. Um, I'm going to be adding this to my tower. It's all right. We know you work hard all week. So let's see. hopefully I'll stay in frame. Hopefully, right? One can only hope. That work. I'm just gonna be stringing these along. Hello, Zavira. Hey, Jimilani. Oh, nice. I, I'm happy that you found the um, coconut milk. That's gonna go a long way to getting you those cells you wanna create. That's gonna be super awesome. Maybe I should cut these into like little pieces that are more manageable to deal with because so i'm gonna be stringing these along and i hope you guys like the angle but i figure since i'm gonna be working with this this is gonna be my tower i figure since i was gonna be working um with this like more on a standing up level i figured it'd be easier than having you guys look at the rooftop the whole time so i switched it up today Oh, nice. So you tested it already? Cool. Very, very cool. I'm so happy you're enjoying it. That's what it's about. So because I don't want to be opening up little eyelet things, um, I figured I'd do it this way, this way. I figured it would be a little bit um, easier for me, and I can just hopefully get a few of them done a little bit faster since I'm not the greatest at opening those things up and closing them back up. I figured I'd do it this way. And then I would have a nice little chain. I'm just hoping I'm giving these things enough space in between, but oh well, we're going to figure it out. I don't really care if it comes out too even or not. I'm only going to do this to a few of them. And then we're gonna start um, building. Yes, me either. <laughs> I've never done this. So this should be interesting. I'm just trying to let the imagination flow today. So I started going around the house and um, I've been saving these in the kitchen. I have like a little drawer where I put like little trinkets like this. So I've been saving these in the kitchen drawer 
And I just so happened to open it up today. And I'm like, oh, I can use this. It is steampunk after all, so. What did I do? Did I literally just throw my wire all the way to the back? Great. All right, so I'm going to have to get myself some new wire. <laughs> Was that them telling me, okay, string no more. How many cans of soda did you They're not from soda. They're from beans. <laughs> Goya beans, to be exact. <laughs> no promo intended, but <laughs> that's what I got them from. And I wanted to do something with them. That's why I've, I've been collecting them for a while. <laughs> All right, so this is more or less what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna be gluing these things onto my little makeshift roof once I get it going. Um, so I'm gonna do maybe two more. I have one more piece. Maybe I have enough to do um, two more. So I'm gonna do like two more and just see how far I can get with this. Then I'm going to put this off to the side and start uh, sharing with you guys the rest of the items that I'm going to be using for today's project. So I got myself a bag of uh, one of those little um, paper containers of the breadcrumbs. Because I figured that'd be easy to use. Trying to keep this. I'm working with a tiny little piece now of metal because my metal dropped behind my desk and I have no way of getting that now. I will get more if I need more as I do have quite a roll of this. Oh, you got it for me? Ah, oh, that sounds the greatest. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, because that little teeny bit was driving me crazy. I appreciate it. Stay. Stay, little wire. Hello, Liz, and welcome back. Welcome back. All right, so let's see. It's easier to work with these things when they're like a little bit longer. So more or less just rotating them. And then snipping off the little excess. So that I have something that kind of hangs. So a little um, can tap, little garland thing I'm about. So I'm gonna put this to the side. If I need to add more, then I'll add more. But at least I got myself more or less started. Um, so when it comes time to actually gluing them on, I'm not going crazy starting from scratch. Let's put this to the side. So we have um, a little, one of those containers of breadcrumbs. Got my little wire. Um, what I did is for the roof, I went ahead and cut out some, I'm trying to stay in frame. I'm used to the camera being in front of me, so sorry about that. Yes, we are. Hey, Crafty J. Newton. Oh, you was? <laughs> that was bananas yesterday. Um, so I um, cut out some teardrop shapes, and I got two sizes. I got like a larger one. I made myself a little um, stencil there to do that. And then I got one that's a little bit smaller. I'm going to be using these to create my little um, roof, my little roof area. What else I've done? I've grabbed some black cardstock and I've put this through um, the embossing machine. And I got a little embossing folder. I used 
this little embossing folder right oh, where am i right here I'm so used to it being in front of me. This is going to take a little bit, you guys, so I do apologize. So I use this little brick embossing folder, and I've uh, done three pieces from top to bottom so that I can wrap it up to give it that um, brick kind of texture and feeling and look. So we've got that. So this is definitely a total DIY, you guys. I've got some aluminum foil because I'm going to be using this to um, create my little um, Hershey Kiss shaped roof that I'm going to be gluing these onto. And then the rest is embellishments. I've got myself a straw because I do hope to be able to create like a little chimney stack kind of coming off the side. So I grabbed myself some straws. Um, I'm going to see if I can add uh, some DIY, some DIY, some LED lights. So I, this is from the Dollar Tree. These are purple ones. And then the rest is just like embellishments, little paper clay pieces and stuff like that. I got a blank CD so that I can create the base. This is going to kind of be sitting like this. So I'll be able to embellish this with some flowers and stuff like that. And then create my little um, structure up in the top. So that's more or less what that is. And I saved the lid because my idea is to more or less glue the lid onto this so that I can use this upside down. So I can stuff inside of it. I can more or less take this part apart and put the LED light um, inside. I'm going to probably poke some holes in here at some point in time. Um, so that there's some purple light kind of flashing through the outside of the, you know, of the thing. But that's where my mind is at right now. Hopefully I'll get to accomplish that. But that's a big hope for me. Getting kind of in my way. And then I just have some uh, popsicle sticks because I'm probably going to be building my own kind of door. Hi, Karina. Did I say hi to Karina? Was Karina here? <laughs> I don't know. She's been here. Oh. Yeah. That's the bacha CD. No, it's not. <laughs> it's black, actually. It's black. I don't have my bacha on CDs. Okay, I have my MP3s or MP4s, whatever they are. <laughs> Not the good CDs. <laughs> well, I got them at a thrift store, so it doesn't hurt me to use them. I got a whole stack for like three bucks, so it wasn't too bad. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is actually start to glue, um, start to glue this together, like start to add this on here so that this can kind of set and dry. Um, I'm going to be using this Mama Jamma of a glue gun, this humongous thing. The sticker keeps coming off. Um, so we're going to do that to use that. Isabel's in the house. Hola, Isabel. Como estas, mija? Como estas? <laughs> and Lady J. Crafty. Hey, Jackie. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and hook up my glue gun. right above me over here let's see which way this way all right so we're pretty much going to do this like this we're going to heat um set this up i'm going to allow this thing to heat up because this doesn't have an on or off button i'm going to put it at 60 watt because last time it got so hot it was like smoking um that's this is like a really high powered um, type of little glue gun there. Like it literally smokes up when it gets really, really hot. I'm going to get the little holster that it comes with. Well, it didn't come with it, but the little holster that I use with it, and I'm just going to put that in there for now. And I'm going to start building, or at least forming the shape of what my roof is going to be with some aluminum foil. And this is like a really inexpensive kind, super thin. I'm just gonna grab quite an amount, and I'm sorry for the noise. I'm just gonna kind of crumple it up. And start kind of giving it somewhat of a shape. You won't be seeing this. This is just to give my um my little uh 
these little things that I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be gluing them onto there. So I needed to have some kind of a, a structure. Also, I got this little piece right here. Where am I? I got this little piece right here, like from junk jewelry that I received um, in some Happy Meal a long, long time ago. So I'm actually going to put this in there like so. So this little piece is going to be peeking out just a little circle part of it. I got to get more aluminum foil. And this is all done. All right, this is all is done. So I'm just gonna kind of do this. So that it is kind of um, even. And this can be a total success or an epic fail, but I like to experiment, so we are going to do this. Back. Voila, we have our little piece right here. And then these are gonna go like this, all the way around, and then I'm gonna layer two layers all the way around um, to give it like a little roof. Little ceiling. I can't, I didn't have anything in my own personal stash that resembled like the shape, so I'm like, I'm gonna have to make it. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it like that. Hopefully, it's straight. And this is why I gave you guys this angle, and you guys can even see. Let's bring this up. There we go. This is why I gave you guys this kind of angle so that you can see more or less what it is that I'm doing. <laughs> okay, no problem, Jamilani. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm making a steampunk tower. Hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, you guys, pray for me, pray for me, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get this done. So this is just the structure. We're not going to be seeing any of this. That's all going to get gessoed and painted over once it's all done. I have to add this little thing in here too. Maybe. We'll see. I wanted to have like this little thing on the top, so I gotta glue that in there. All right, so let's see if my glue gun is dribbling and ready. Still might need a few minutes. Let's put it on 100 just so that it can get hot. Um, so we're going to be gluing the lid onto the CD like so, because I want to be able to, to use this and close this up so that I can put my LED lights in there. Once I've glued everything in there, I'm going to punch either holes in it um, or I'm going to do something. Maybe I can punch holes in it once I glue the paper. It probably won't be like all the way in the top, but I'll try to punch some holes somewhere along the bottom so that some of the light will show through. Um, and I'll try to punch some holes somewhere along the top, so we'll see how that's going to go. Is that what that is? I thought it was an Egy Egyptian symbol for female. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I totally thought it was Egyptian. <laughs> I'm not used to these. I'm used to the rosaries that you wear. <laughs> well, God, please forgive me, for I know not what I do, and this is art. Hopefully, I'll be all right. But if my tower falls apart, then you know why. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, nice. I wish I could find some apple crates over here. Yes, I think it's going to give it a nice little, you know, something, 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 something. Let me just um secure it a little bit better. Just in case, right? So don't move to the left. Just in case. It's going to be at three feet over there. Just in case, because you never know. <laughs> My rope stop is a little weird, but this aluminum foil is not the greatest. It is the cheap kind. So my shape is a little a little off. But I don't really care too much for that. I don't care so much about that. We're gonna figure this out. And if it doesn't work as a steampunk, I'll just call it Halloween. If it's wonky, it's a Halloween tower. So hopefully, yeah, I think it's ready. So let me go ahead and just give this a quick um, once over. Let's see. I want you guys to be able to see what I am doing. Not just hear it. So I'm gonna, yeah. And I do not have my finger hats. Where are my finger hats? They should be where I keep my glue gun. So let's see if I was smart and put it back where they go. I got one. I guess I'm going one fingered with this. All right. So always use protection. All right, so we got that. That's the bottom part, which we're going to be just doing and painting and so on and so forth. I'm going to glue this on it afterwards. So we'll see how that all works out. Right now, we're going to glue these things on. And I want to keep it with the brick ridge out. I want to feel that texture. So this is what we're going to do. This thing is mighty hot. Can you guys see the smoke? Let me put this on 60. Huh? The tagging? Uh, no, it's, yeah, this is Italian. It's an Italian breadcrumb tower, steampunk tower. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't crumble like breadcrumb. This thing is so hot, like literally you feel it burning on the other side. This thing is dangerous. Honestly, it's so hot, it is dangerous. And it doesn't have an off um, switch. I would have used regular glue for this. If like, if you're gonna do this to um, allow it to kind of rest in between then, or you have a regular glue gun, I ran out of glue sticks for the other one. That's why I'm using this one. Otherwise, I would use my other one because this is a little bit much, but we're going to make it work. I dropped it down to um, 60, so hopefully that'll help it to not be so burning hot. Easier to manage, but I'm super scared of burning myself with this thing because I don't have tomatoes to stick my fingers into right now because we had them for salad. We had them with the salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's his. It's <laughs> All right. All that just to stick one down, huh? So we're going to go cutting this as we go. Put it up in my scissors. Put it up in my scissors. Oh, so here. We're gonna cut this go. Still make you sure that I can do. What happened? 
know what to do, like, because I can't see it on my once it goes up too fast. <laughs> You're laughing at the pics. <laughs> gotta get it at the selfie store. Oh, but I got it at the Price Chopper supermarket. No promo intended. But that's where I got it from. That's the supermarket that we have here. I don't know if you guys have those there. Where you are. So we're just going to cover this up. And I don't need to make sure that every single area of this is glued down. As long as most of it is glued in, then we'll be able to make it work. I need a silicone glove for this kind of project, honestly. Just gonna try to rub out that glue and it'll calm down in a minute. It's really hot, even at 60, it's really, really hot. I've never done anything like this. I, I really enjoyed the, little, the first house that I made. So I figured I need to have like some kind of tower. If I'm gonna be making like those little houses, there's gotta be a tower in there. And be it that we're in the month of Halloween, I figured, you know what? Maybe a steampunk tower will look cool. I'm not really into Halloween per se, um, it's not necessarily like one of my favorite holidays. I enjoy the the little you know the little kids having fun and dressing up and stuff like that. But I'm not so much in the, into the Halloween crafting. Um, so this won't be necessarily Halloweeny, but it'll fit the bill. It'll fit the bill. All right, so we got one more. You're not, yeah. It's not really, Um, I enjoyed it thoroughly as a child, but as an adult, not so much. A gardening glove, oh, okay. I'm gonna have to look for that, Liz. I'm gonna definitely have to look for that. Aren't they a little oversized though? Hmm. You're crafting and watching? Cool. What are you making? Don't tell me if it's a surprise. <laughs> oh, the wrist has a snuck up? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to look for that because I think that that will be a really, really good idea because I keep losing my little finger hats. I don't know why I don't put the other where I put the one. And you know what's funny? Because when I wear these, I will usually end up using the finger that doesn't have one on. I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys. But it's like my finger gets numb, I guess, from having it on. It doesn't even realize that it's there. So I'll end up using my other finger to, um, you know, rub it down. And I've gotten burned a few times because I forget. <laughs> so, like, I have the protection and it's still, I'm still not saved. All right, I think this is more or less good to go. So we have our, um, love the texture and even the rippling that the paper gives it also adds more um, texture to the piece. So this is gonna be really, really cool, I think, once it's all painted and stuff.
and I'm just using regular um recollections. I think this is recollections that um cardstock. I'm not using nothing like really fancy. Just regular recollections black cardstock is what I'm using. You can use anything, even cereal boxes. You can even make this out of a cereal box in case you don't have nothing this large. You can definitely DIY the heck out of this. So let's glue on. And I honestly, I feel like I have to go get some more aluminum foil. I think this is a little too thin. I'm gonna get some more aluminum foil. Give me one second, you guys. So let's put that back in there. Even though it says do not lean on its side, that is exactly what I'm doing. So let's try to follow some rules here and put this the way it's intended to be had. Just don't waste my glue, glue gun. Okay, so got some more. Hi, Tina. Oh, a CD album. Fancy. That's going to look amazing. So I'm going to glue this part of it on and then just work it from being there. I think that'll probably be the smartest thing that I can do. Yeah, you definitely couldn't use this with plastic. It will melt the plastic. So we're going to do this. Move this around to the top. Hopefully, you guys are being able to see what it is that I'm doing. You'll be able to see the process of me losing my mind. And again, you won't be seeing this because this is going to be covered up. But I do want it to have um, more of a balanced um, kind of feel to it. I think I'm finally achieving that. Two hours later. <laughs> Good, I'm getting it. It looks like a cold drink. Yeah. It does. Mocha Lata Fraps Chaka. Ice cap. All right. I think that's a little bit better. It's more full. So now, um, let's insert our little thing in there. Let's put a little bit of glue. Let's put this baby back in there. And aso sorry, aso sorry, please. Please, don't add it to my list, please. All right, so let me get my big pieces and get my small pieces. And then we're gonna start gluing these things on one by one. Just have to divide up my teardrops, so. It looks a lot more balanced now. Doesn't look so, you know. It might not be necessarily on center, but at least it looks better. Okay, so let's see. And I hope I made enough of these. 
because I only used a piece of scrap that I had. So I think I'm gonna start with the biggest ones, which I think are these, and then add the smallest ones somewhere along the top. So here we go, and here goes nothing. I got my little stencils in case I gotta cut out more, which hopefully I won't have to do, but just in case. So I want this, so right at the top. And we're just gonna stick this on there. Move it. This one, I don't think it's all stick. So, add that one again. Keep adding, keep adding, keep adding, keep adding, so you can add no more. This is a fairy tower, <laughs> a fairy steampunk tower because, you know, yeah. So this is very fairy-esque, if you will. This. So we're gonna have this one. This one, we're gonna be alternating. So right in all the openings that is left over from the one on the bottom, we're gonna be adding the next layer up. And our roof is coming along nicely. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> yes, they do look pretty cute, darling. <laughs> I was like, we're not eating them. And I'm just going to use them all up. Don't know exactly how many layers I will end up with, but I'll trim off whatever I got to trim off with a little blade or a little snippet of a scissor here and there, wherever I feel like I need to. But this is just what a fairy would do. I'll trim up all those little bits afterwards. Thank you, thank you, Jackie. Now one more.
just right here. And then these little chain things that I um, was working on when I first started, this is gonna go on here. I don't know how many I'm gonna need per se, but I'm gonna be gluing these like this. And I might've done them too short. So we're just going to glue them on wherever I can glue them on to, pretty much. I'm not going to worry so much about aesthetic. Um, let me trim off some of those little pieces in the top. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. And again, if I do end up doing some kind of a giveaway, it'll probably be later on. Once I've amassed a couple pieces, um, I'll, I'll think about how I want to do that exactly. Originally, I wasn't going to add this piece, but as I was looking through my things and I found that I'm like, oh, I think that, that would look nice right on the top. So that's why um, I made the teardrops kind of pointy on the end because my original thought was to just um, do them so that they come to a peak right on top. And actually, I do want to, I think... I'm going to see how I work that, but I'm going to start kind of gluing these things together. And actually, do I have enough to go around? Oh, I should just glue them the other way. <laughs> do I have enough of these to go around? Let me check. Let me check that first because it's easier for me to add them now than to add them later. So if I gotta add more of this, then I can do that real quick um, and do it now. I forgot where I was. I needed to give myself more chain and I didn't do that. I think I'm going to have to add at least two more just for safe measure. So let me do that really quickly. But I do like how that came out. Sorry, you guys. You're over here. So this is how the roof is looking. And yes, I know you can see um, some of that under there. I might do something to add something in there. Oh, I'm going to add tool. I'm going to stuff tool. That's what I did. I, I got tool. So I'm going to stuff tool in there and have a little bit of toolage kind of coming out, like a little bit of fluff um, coming out from under there. That's what I did. All right. So let me get my wire again. And let me thread some of these little um, bottle caps. Let's try to allow myself a little bit of... Um, room here. I should have thought about that when I first did it. So pretty much I'm just taking the wire and just wrapping it around. Um, just wrapping it around and then I'll snip off the end. Which should hopefully hold it in place for me.
my tire broke. The chain broke. Now you want to break. You didn't want to break earlier, but now you want to break. Nice. Very, very nice. Hello, Chris. Thanks for joining. And hello, Monica. I don't see your name there, but I'm sure you're in there somewhere. So I'm gonna try to add, I'm gonna try to add it again. Hopefully this one will hold for me. So I'm just gonna string this along. Actually hold it from the bottom up, twist it up here instead. Okay. Now let's snip this off. Okay, doll. I'm making a uh, tower. So far, we've used aluminum foil to create our little roof. As a base, um, I've created some little teardrop kind of shapes that I've been layering on, like little petals. So this is going to be kind of like a fairy-ish um, type of steampunk-ish. <laughs> type of um, tower. And I use the breadcrumb canister um, to do this. And now what I'm doing is pretty much um, threading some can tabs like so. So that I can thread it around the roof and then we're going to be painting and just sewing and all that good stuff. Have fun, be careful. So that's more or less where we are. So I am going to grab these very carefully and I'm going to be gluing all of the little center tabs. I'm going to glue them right onto the thing. And later on, I'll embellish it um, with something. So I'm just gonna glue the very top. And I'm just gonna stick them. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just gonna hold it there for a second or two so it doesn't fall off with the weight of the other pieces. It could be. <laughs> it could be for Snow White, yes. Why not? It could be for any kind of theme that you wanna do it for. So we've got one. This way, this way. Now, um, I didn't space them out properly, so I just kind of was um, doing it like as I want. So I didn't really space them out properly. So they might not be necessarily even, Stephen, but it's okay. Steampunk is a little bit all over the place anyway. So I'm just going to add these little things in here. But I think it'll give it a nice little element. These things make the cutest little embellishments as well. It looks like cups. <laughs> well, maybe there's a little fairy trapped in there. We don't know. Maybe she stole too many leaves or nuts or something, and they put her in the tower. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. It's fairyland. <laughs>
<laughs> yes. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> All my creations have a wonky little story behind them, somehow, somewhere. You fell off again? We're fighting today, me and you. Why? Why, why, why? Why are you doing this to me? I guess the link that it was on was loose and I didn't tighten that link. So I'm gonna have to do this again. Thankfully it's just the one and I'm still short. So I'm gonna have to create, um, oops, what happened here? I'm gonna have to create, um, I think, a little link with like at least two or three more. So let me just do this really quickly. So, threading this. And uh, squeezing this, I'm gonna push it towards the top so I can twist these over. And let's glue it real quick before it changes its mind on me again. And this one's gonna go here, so this one can go right there. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. I'll be trying, you know. <laughs> I'll be trying. Steampunk is metal, right? <laughs> so I figured I'd gather up as much metal stuff as I can find to give it that little steampunkish kind of look. And since I'm gonna be painting over everything, um, I figured I can add this now as opposed to adding it later. That way I can paint over this too. But I do like how it's um, how it's kind of looking. It's got a lot of movement in it too, so I like that. So let me grab more of this chain and do at least three more. All right, that's what I need. Oh, I just need one. I could just link a chain from Pam Pam and not even do it the other one. I think I'll do that. All right, instead of doing a whole. Another one. Okay, the chain has raveled into a knot. Hello, Arlene, and welcome. All right, so I think I'm just gonna thread this. Let me just close this little link up because I feel like it's going to open up on me. So I'm going to thread this right down the holes. And then just kind of loop it into this. Let's loop it into existence. Out. Can't loop my finger. I was ready to loop my own finger, you guys. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing over here. Let me bring this closer. To <laughs> it's too far. This is why I said it's easier to do it um, not glued in than glued in. 
There we go. It's got the big one. We got it. We got it. We got it. So we're just going to loop this to this. Like this. Going to have a little bit of a gap, but if anything, I think that'll be fine. I don't think it makes much of a difference to add one in there. So we're going to leave that. If anything, I'll probably add something else in this end here just to balance it out a little bit. So I'm going to put it like right there. So I'm just going to split this right here. So let's get more of that wire. And let's let's get this part in there looped. It might be easier. No, it not might. It will be easier for you to create um your pieces, loop them together, and then just glue them in place. Like make your bracelet first and then just glue it in place. That way you don't have to go through this. Memo to self as well. All right. So we've got our little chain. This is very much very wonky. I almost feel like adding more of these in there, but we're going to be better at this. Okay, remove this out of the way. Put this right here so I can figure out the next thing that I'm going to be doing to this. Let's see what I have in this little container here. Oh, cool. Okay, Isabel. <laughs> She's like, I'm still here. All right, so let's see. Um, Ooh, a clock piece right here, right? Yes, I think so. I think that that would look super cool. So it just turned into a, a, a clock tower. Just that fast. Yeah. Where's 12 o'clock? So let me just adjust this to its 12 o'clock position. Can you guys see? Oh, got a little tower. We got a little tower, you guys. Let's see. How can I do this? But I'm not going to do all this stuff. I'm worried I'm going to burn this wire.
Yes. <laughs> Go for it. Yes. Love it when a plan comes together. Put this on the back, right? It's too big. It's too big. That's too big too. Give me a small little gear that I can tuck in there. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Whoop, whoop. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. How many of those do I have? Those. Handles. I got broken keys, so I'm looking for the rest of my broken keys. These were paper clay keys that um didn't work so well. They didn't open any doors, and then they fell apart. So I'm trying to find the rest of what I have. I think I can add those um, up there. So I have like these the little um, tops. These are like the Prima keys. So I'm gonna try to get them like as um, similarly sized as possible. And I'm gonna add them to the top. I'm gonna add them in like so. That's what we're going to do. Okay, you and you can literally go over here now because I don't need you, I don't think. If I do, I know where to find you. So no worries. All right, here's my little basket over here. So this is what we're going to do, I think. They're not all the same size. They're not all quite the same because they all broke in different places. So I'm trying to get them as um, similar in size as I can. I think that'll work. And I got five of them. So I can only add them in five crucial points. Yes, you don't throw anything away. We do not throw anything away. Let me see, do I have my, where are my tweezers? Here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna grab this and just glue it in place. Add one right there. Let's add one right here. Okay, stay put. Right here. And they're all kind of different patterns. They're not necessarily the same. I think we only got place for one more, so it actually worked out. 
we're going to have this one right here. Oh, thank you, Tana. <laughs> I don't think you will want to spend some time, I mean, you will probably go crazy. Because <laughs> I think people talk to themselves in there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. See, this is paper, so this definitely has no flex to it. So I'm trying to see. Have some parts in here. Um, these are buttons. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. six. So I have six. Okay, so I don't know. All right, let's add some hearts to these um, little things here. Gonna add some hearts there. This is a love tower, and the punishment is to love you to death. <laughs> That's how they punish you in this tower. They love you to death. They love you against your own will. All right, so we have our love shack. <laughs> and let's see, let's see what else we do. All right, so I think I'm gonna start gluing some pieces along the way here. Um, actually, what I'm gonna work on next is the door. So I'm gonna create like a flexible kind of um, door that I can actually glue on to, um, I can glue onto there and gesso. So I'm gonna get some popsicle sticks and kind of glue them on to the paper, but not to each other so that I can flex them a little bit. Pinterest just emailed me and they said, hurry up and put a picture up. We need to see this. <laughs> Oh, I said I just needed a few. Why are you sending me all the popsicle sticks at once? Why are you sending me all of the popsicle sticks at once? All right, so let's put this baby there. So this is going to be this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And then I'm gonna I have to punch out some holes in here. And then I'm gonna put it to um the little light set. And I'm gonna be able to turn it on, pam, put it back, turn it off, put it back, turn it off. And that's how that's gonna work. And here I'm gonna add something because I think it's like missing something here. So I don't know what I'm gonna add. Maybe a bird or something. 
if I could find a bird. I'll probably find a bird. But anywho, let's get to this house, um, this door building. I think that's big enough for a doorway there. And again, I need to be able to have these flex. So I don't want them to glue to each other. I just want them to glue onto the paper. And if I can, can I? Yay, I got my little door. You talking to me, Isabel? No? Okay. okay. So to that, I want to add something that resembles some kind of a keyhole. We'll see how that goes because I gotta I gotta flex this first. So this is what I'm gonna do. Pretty much just rip the paper off from under it. And it's got a little bit of flex, which is pretty much what I need. I'm gonna do this with my lid on so that I don't put it below the lid and then I can't close the can. So put the lid on in the bottom and then um, glue your doorway on there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yay! Hey, Tanya, I got your package today. And I did my video. Um, everything was gorgeous, as usual, but I don't expect anything less than that from you. So the video will be up. Um, I, I filmed the first two entries, which I received already. Um, so the video will be up either tomorrow or Monday, the latest, because I know tomorrow I'm going live, so I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it tomorrow, but um, definitely probably by Monday I'll get it done. So woohoo, you did an absolutely gorgeous job, let me tell you. Is this the world's biggest keyhole? Can I get away with this keyhole, even though it's the world's biggest keyhole? I can get away with that, right, you guys? I mean, it's steampunk. It's supposed to be surreal. So, do I have a different one? These are broken, but I don't want to add since they're going to hang off the side.
Actually, I should have put the door more in frame with the clock itself. But it's a little too late for that. There we go. <laughs> Can't move the door, move the clock. <laughs> oh, girl, please. You make wonders with your eyes closed. You are good. No worries there. I'm going to add a face. What do you guys think? Like the tower is a talking thing. I think I have to um, do that down a little bit. Let me move this um, down a little bit. It's a little up. So in order for me to achieve the look that I'm trying to get, I'm going to have to pinch this down a little bit. Hold this in place. Pinch this in. So I'm going to add a little face in here to make the clock tower even more mystical than it already is. She has a clock, but she tells you the time. <laughs> she doesn't just let you look at it and wonder. Maybe you're passing by the town and you don't know Roman numerals, you know? And it's not digital, so. You're going to have to figure it out. You're going to have to figure it out. I'm looking for um, little faces. Trying to see if I should um I think this face might be a little bit too big for that. So I'm trying to find a face that'll fit in there. All these faces have their eyes closed. I think this one will do the trick. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, uh, thank you, Arlene. I'll be trying. <laughs> I'll be trying. And yes, her face is off center with um, the house itself. I almost feel like ripping this one off so that I can center her face a little bit more, but I'm not going to do it. She's going to go like that. Okay, so rah, so rah. I'm just going to hold it in place for a second or two. Thank you, Jackie. It's a little something different. I should have spaced out the, um, see what it is with me, you guys. Most of you guys know this about me, but I, I'm a last minute planner when it comes to my crafting. I really don't, I'm I really marginally plan. Like I'll gather supplies as probably as far as my planning goes. Um, but I never really know exactly what I'm going to add to them until I'm adding it to them. Me thinking about adding this was a total last minute thing. Um, so I really didn't even like take time to build it. I should have took time to build it. If I would have had more time, I would have built it. Um, so that I didn't have to build it on, you know, here. Cause I know that's, it kind of takes time to do it. Um, these are really, really good. And I like how close together they are. But then in this area here, it gets a little bit wonky, but it's okay. It's okay Cause we're going to work it out. We're going to work it out. Yes, we are. All right. So we got our face on there. 
just trying to let that glue kind of dry in place because this is kind of like plastic on plastic if you will so let's see could have put it on one of these one of these should have put it on one of these all right anywho so what was i doing doorknob right everything is off skew a little bit let me take this off can I? Can I? Let me see if the little heat gun trick will work. And I can take this door off of here. So it is driving me a little wonky. So know that my door is off skew with the rest of it. If you heat blast it, you'll be able to get this off a lot faster than what I'm doing. I'm just gonna probably glue it all in there and just smooth it out. Add some things there and just cover up that little booby. Because I'm gonna be just doing this, so you probably won't be able to see it. Anymore. Now, where's the front of this place? Here we go. Let's try this again. Stick to the right. There we go. That's better. It's more centered. Thank you, Sasso. Hello, Dana. How are you doing? So it's more centered now. And I think. It is a steam coat house, so the door thing, the keyhole doesn't necessarily have to be on the door, does it? Okay, I like that. So let's do that. So we're going to add our keyhole to this little flower thing here. And then we're going to add this to that. And there goes our boo-boo covered. <laughs> so can you guys see? So this is what our keyhole is going to be. I'm going to hold this like this because I don't want it to slide and it's sliding. So I'm going to just um, fold this upright a little bit. I can take this lid off now. I'm 
and just my little scissor. Some of the loose um, paper from before. So that'll work. It's already steampunk. So let's see. So we got that in there. Let's add some other little pieces to this. Um, what do I have? What do I have? Oh, I want to add. Well, I think I'll add the tool at the end. But I do want to add some of these um, little pieces in here. I just do, grabbed whatever I had already. Like, whatever I had in my stash, that's what I grabbed. I didn't do I didn't really create any new pieces for this. I didn't really create nothing new for this, so hopefully this will work. I'm gonna add um, another face on here, I think, because I have another little flat one. I think that that'll look super cool. So I'm gonna add another little face on here. I just want to use up some of these little um, bits and pieces that I have. So we're just going to add this little face on there. And hopefully you guys can see that well. I am going to let's see here. Out, burn myself. I burn myself. That glue is steaming hot. And I'm trying to find little teeny gears if I can. Then I can add at least a few little gears here and there. I'm gonna have to get me another bag of these um, button gear things. These are super cool. This is how it's starting to come together. Let's see if I have. Um, I wanted to do like a little chimney thing, but I don't think that that's going to work out too well. For me so I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to keep adding these little flowers, these little filigree flowers, and I have a few more gears to add in here. Yes, I definitely have to be. I know. But you know what it is? I can't put water on this table because I have so much electrical stuff that I think the, the shock might be worse than the bird. <laughs> so I'm kind of stuck right now. Uh, 
but I will use my tweezers, I think, instead of trying to do it um, this way. That way I don't have to um, worry about it so much. So I'm just kind of curving it out with my finger just to give it like a slight little curve. Um, gonna go ahead and just, hopefully I can pull it off without, um, Thank you, Karina. Thank you, Isabel. No. What hearts? Oh, the gears is a bag of buttons. They're a bag of buttons. These are not metal, these are plastic. I think Michaels has them. It's either Michaels or, jo or Joanne's. I'm not sure. It's one of those two. I gave myself a baby blister. Ouch. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to add this in here. This is like a rope. I think I'm going to add it in here. I got like all these little pieces of a rope. So I'm gonna add all of this in here. How long have I been on? For an hour and a half? All right, because I want to start getting just when you're painting soon. Um, let me see. I was supposed to use it on my seat canvas, but they started to kind of break apart. That's what I don't like about the polymer clay. They do kind of break apart. Kind of level this out. So I'm just trying to use up all these little bits and broken pieces of um, paper clay pieces and just other things that I had in there. It's a little door mouse. Uh, mouse. What is it? House mouse, right? Mouse door. Yeah, mouse door. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. Little house mouse right there. Oh, flipped on me, bugger. Okay. Okay, let's add a little, a little one of these. Like a steampunk rope, it pulls you in. <laughs> when the door doesn't work, the door is just a ruse. The real way to get in there is through the rope. <laughs> hey, Rosa. Welcome. So let's see. What else we're gonna do? We need to add some more stuff in here. Looks a little bit plain Jane still, I think. Right? I do like it though so far. I like how it's looking. These little doors driving me a little nuts, but 
maybe I can add a little bit of this around this trick. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then we're going to start just when this baby down. I don't want to give her a number. She's not a number, baby. She's not a number. So let's see. Let me add another one of these little um, keyholes that turned into mouse doors, mouse houses. So I put one there. I'm going to put one here, I think. Little mouse houses. So I am really digging how this is coming along. I really am loving this. I'm gonna add a little bird, a little blue jay, red jay, something jay, jay something. Um, I'm just adding all my little bits and pieces that I had that were broken. I'm gonna add a little fairy hinge, a little door, uh, wings uh hinge to the door because why not it's your project you can do with it what you wish if your door flies away that's perfectly acceptable in this world it's perfectly acceptable let's see I'm just looking for little bits and pieces that I can just add here and there. Let me add some of these um, pieces of rope that I have. Where do I want to add this? Let's add it under this gear. So I added one under that gear. Let's add this other little piece under the other gear. It makes it look like they have some kind of pulling mechanism. Go. And it also kind of helps me to hide um, some of the seam. Because these polymer clay pieces are like the worst. They crumble, they break apart. I don't know what the heck. This is why I use my plastic um, filament um, pen instead to make my pieces because those don't break and they're flexible. So I just want to get rid of all of these types of pieces that I do have. So this is kind of like how my canvases are um, when I do my assembled canvases, but this is more of a, you know, a sculpture-ish type of version. I'm going to add all these little birds on here because I might as well. Add the little birdies on here. I think they'll look adorable once they're all just so it is. And a few more pieces, and we are going to be good to go. Just trying to see what else I can add and where else I can add it. Um, let's see. Before this dries off on me, let's maybe add it right there. And that'll work. All right, so I think. Um, adding stuff wise, I think I'm going to be good with that. I don't want to waste all my pieces. I don't have many left. So I am going to do that. Save all of my other little gears and stuff. 
Um, I do have one spot that I can add flower or something like that. Let me see if I have another big flower that I can add in here. Yes, I can. Oh. Jesus. And then I'm going to turn this monster off for a few. <laughs> this thing is mean, are you guys? It's just mean. <laughs> okay, so I think I do want to add a little bit of this to this. Maybe not. Do I have anywhere else that I have a gear? Let me just add um, these last two pieces of rope. Um, there are these gears. That's it. Every gear has a rope. I think so. All right, you guys. I'm going to turn this glue gun off. And then I'll return it back on when I need to um, add the tool. So tool is going to be the last thing that I'm going to add. Right now, I'm going to start gessoing this baby up. Um, I'm going to let that cool down. I'm going to start gessoing this baby up, and then we'll figure out whatever other pieces we're going to be adding to this after that. If I didn't mention it, which I did mention it in my video, but you guys haven't seen, um, I haven't put them up yet for the... For my challenge that I have going on right now. Sasona is going to be revealing um, all of his entries on his channel. So it'll be like two part. I'll do my entry and then um, whatever you guys sent for him, he's going to be revealing on his channel. I didn't want to ruin the surprise and open up um, the packages. So I'm going to let him do that over there and let him, you know, be surprised and amazed. Um, right along in his own channel. So, all right, we got that going. So what I'm going to do now, oh yeah, I'm going to paint and I'm going to just so, so let me get my, first of all, I'm going to have myself a little chocolate, a little Andy's chocolate because I think I deserve it. I burned myself twice. I'm going to have myself a little chocolate and then I'm going to grab my gesso and gesso this baby up. And that's how we're going to do it. Some people have a coffee break. I have an Andy's break. Yum, yum. Okay, so now we're going to start gluing this, um, painting this whole thing down. And I've got my own DIY gesso. There, so it's not in my way. So I'm just gonna start spreading this out, and um, I'm probably gonna be using like sprays or whatever I have. Um, definitely, you guys know I'm gonna use some metallics, right? Because it would not be me if I didn't add some metallics in there. Hello, hello, darling. Oh, you're lurking in the background. 
Well, welcome, welcome, and I hope you're enjoying the crazy show. You're always lurking. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad that you watch. Even if it is in the background. All are welcome here. <laughs> So you guys, this is definitely that kind of project that you can definitely do like pretty much with any kind of spare parts that you might have lingering around. You don't necessarily have to use what I use to make this. You can use alternate um, products. You can get um, chains from junk jewelry. Um, the little tabs come from cans, vegetable cans, beans, whatever you guys um, open up, even your spams. If some of you guys see like spam and like sardines and stuff like that they have like these little pull tabs save those they make awesome embellishments you can do all kinds of things with them i've seen a couple of youtubers do like really really cool stuff with these um little tabs actually that's the reason why i started saving them because i'm like oh i want to do that too just so happened this got you know i've had them in there for a while and they just caught my attention today so i'm like yeah i gotta use this I got to use this for this. And I've got some um, ideas for that canvas that you sent me with the beetles and stuff. So... Um, I'm going to be making some special pieces for that one. And I'll be coming out with a project for that soon. That'll be super, super fun. That's a hard one, I think. Because you get distracted by the bugs. <laughs> so you start looking at it and you're like, huh. You look at flowers and you can like think of 101 things. Um, you could get inspired by like looking at flowers and stuff like that so easily. But it's not so easy to become inspired looking at books. So I'm like, okay, I gotta do something with this one. And it's gotta be weird because that's what that's what I think of when I think of bugs, I think of weird. So I'm like, we gotta figure this out. But I think I have a, a plan. Not that I plan much, but I have an idea. That I'm gonna try to um put to fruition. <laughs> yes, that is the goal. I gotta figure out a way to make a bug look beautiful. Butterflies are beautiful from far. They're not so cute up close. <laughs> the wings are, but not them. <laughs> so this will be interesting. My roof is wobbling. <laughs> But hopefully I'll be able to fix that once I start tucking in the tool and stuff. I'll be able to stabilize that a little bit. I just don't want to forget no layers because I have layers upon layers upon layers in here. Of all of this cardboard stuff. This dries pretty quickly. It doesn't dry probably as fast as your store-bought gesso, but it does dry rather quickly. This was made with um, plaster of Paris in case I didn't say it. So it's not my typical gesso. This is a little bit more grainy. The... Just so that I normally make is with baby powder. So I had the only experience trying to make um, paste with the plaster of Paris. Yeah, no, it didn't happen. Um, I will, the, the day I, I made it, it was like, oh my God, perfect consistency. Yes, I'm going to love playing with this. The next day when I went to go use it, it was a solid brick. <laughs> I think I added a little too much of the cement powder. <laughs> just a tad much. Just a tad. I'm going to put my hands in here. That'll make my life a little bit easier. Start um, doing this. Yeah, I got to make sure that I secure that a little bit better. 
I'll do that once I add um, the tool. I'll add all that the extra glue and stuff in there. And again, I'm only just doing this piece because I am going to be spraying on it. And um, I don't want the paper to start falling apart. Because this is just regular cardstock, you guys. So you wet it, it will fall apart unless you prime it first. So this is why I'm priming it now. And again, just so you can make on your own. So everything pretty much you can DIY. Totally DIY. And yes, I agree. I'm weird. I'm good. <laughs> so yes, weird is awesome. Because you never know what's going to happen with weird. It's always a mystery. While this is kind of setting, because I'm going to let it dry a little bit, I'll start working on this base. Um, and start kind of decorating this base. Um, I think I'm gonna add uh, like little flowers and stuff like that. On um, the first house that I made, I added uh, moss. I didn't want to add moss to this one because I think it's gonna be a little too messy right now. Um, plus I'm kind of having, you know, this love-hate relationship with this glue gun. So I wanna get my regular glue because this glue gun is just too high maintenance for me. Maybe once I get the glove, and I can protect my whole hands. I might need a bodysuit, you guys. Because <laughs> this glue be going everywhere. Um, yeah, like I literally burned the top of my hands. I don't even know how the heck. But yeah. Like I don't even have fingers up there. And I got burned. So I'm going to try to um, get a glove or something. So when I do have to use that, I'm a little bit more protected. I'm loving how this is looking. This can definitely be like a little um, Halloween-y if you want. You can, if you have like little pumpkins or something, you could definitely add like little pumpkins around there. Um, or a little sign that says, keep out. <laughs> then you're good to go. That's all you need to make it Halloween is a sign that says, keep out. <laughs> and you're good to go. No decorations needed, just the sign. All right, so here we go. All right, so I think I got it all covered up for the most part. All right, so I'm going to start working on this base. And for this base, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um... Okay, I think black gesso for sure. Exactly. Weird is never boring. There's a reason why we get stuck looking at weird stuff. Every time you see something weird, you can't help but stop and look. So in my opinion, Weird is awesome. Some black gesso. Okay, black gesso. Premium black gesso by Deco Art is what I'm going to be using on here. And I'm going to add it with the same brush because that's just what we're going to do. And I'm going to stifle this on because that will create texture. And since I'm putting it on a very slick surface, I don't want this to crack off. So I'm just going to stifle it on and create that texture right on here. Right up against that lid. Once everything is dry, I'll cover it up. I'll cover up the bottom with um, some kind of craft paper. So 
I am not, uh, you know, looking at the glue, the glue CD and stuff. But yes, stippling it on is the best way to do this. We're just gonna do that like so. Okay. So we got that more or less covered. I just wanted to have something, you know, solid in the bottom. And I didn't want to just add paint to it because the paint was just going to chip away. It wasn't going to um, be able to contain itself. So let me just spray my brush so that it doesn't turn into a brick on a stick. And then we'll be good to go. Now the goal is going to be to add some lights in here so that it lights up purple. So we have some purple coming out of it. Um, so I'm going to poke little holes into it in a little while. Um, once that gets a little bit more settled, I'm going to grab myself some paints right now. Um, definitely going to get myself any kind of particular color scheme you guys are thinking. Any colors in mind? Or do we want like traditional dark browns, blacks? Or do we want a little bit of teal in there? Anything bright? Any suggestions? Silver, gold, and bronze. Okay. That was very specific, Donna. Awesome song. Silver, gold, bronze. I don't think I have. I have brass. I have burnished brass. Shimmer, black shimmer. And my gold rush. And I'm going to add, for good measure, some Ice Espresso, right? Yes. And I think I'm going to throw in the, a little bit of lavish green so that it can give it a little bit of highlight here and there, wherever the gold is going to work. And um, paint-wise, did you say copper? So I got some copper in paint. Um, I'm trying to see if I find myself a black in here somewhere. Fiber black. This is chalky fresh. Um, I think I'll go with this one. It's very dry. A chalky finish black so um i'm gonna rely on my metallic lusters i got lavish green ice espresso gold rush black shimmer and burnished brass and paints i'm only gonna use the carbon black which is a chalky finish you guys can see that chalky finish and then copper in my metallic paint and this is gonna be a hot mess but it's gonna be a fun hot mess and all the while, my little CD base is drying. 
I'm gonna use the same brush that I was using for my gesso and stuff. So let's see how this all works out. Just for some kind of uh, halfway normal looking uh, tray here. There's no way, no how. All my trays are the filthy. But oh well, they're heavily loved, heavily loved. Yes, hot mess, here we go. Hot mess USA. <laughs> so some of this chalky finish, I'm gonna put that right into the black, just in case this has to get a little funky on me. So I'm gonna start with um, my black and then we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. I like the fact that I can put my hand in there. So yes. Now the gesso is obviously not all the way dry, but I'm okay with that. I've learned to live with it since I'm never drying my things in my room anyway. Making sure I get that black paint all the way up there so that it covers up that aluminum foil that I use to make my roof. In some areas making a little bit of a gray, but again, I don't mind. I love little happy accidents. Sometimes um, you try to control your projects too much and you still end up not being satisfied. So I just let it go. And usually I am pleasantly surprised. And even when I try to, you know, my little OCD kind of kicks in and I, you know, I struggle with it, I struggle with it. It gets to a point where I just stop. I mean, just let it go. You just have to let it go. You have to face it. Face the facts. It's just not going to happen today. Then I usually come back to it 15 minutes later. Because <laughs> OCD is such an issue. <laughs> so, you know, it's a little hard. It's a little hard, you guys. I admit it. I admit it. It's a little hard. I wish I had OCD for planning. Then I will have my stuff right on point. That's the one thing I don't have OCD for, I think. And I've diagnosed myself. I have not been medically diagnosed. <laughs> if I need to, like, add little dabs of gesso in here, like, to, you know, just bring some gesso back into it, I'll bring that in later. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I mean, I'm not looking to cover every little nook and cranny if something shows, like, I'm okay with it, but... I think I used up most of my paint. This is my favorite part of the day. And it's my favorite part of almost any project that I do. It's the moment that I get that brush in my hands. Who knew this was such a big surface to cover? I'm like, this is just a jar. This is going to be easy peasy. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree. 
but I think it would have served me well <laughs> for some things, maybe. I'm like terrible at planning. Terrible, terrible, terrible. About as much as I could do with planning is just be on time, and that's you get lucky with that one. And I think that also has part to do with my OCD because I'm impatient, so I go ahead of time. <laughs> so that's just an accidental uh, me getting there early. Let's see. All right. So remember, you guys, I'm tucking in a tool under there. So I got this part. I, as good as I'm going to get it, I'm not going to go too crazy with it. As good as I'm going to get it, you guys. So I still have other layers of paint that I got to add in here. On this part of it, I'm not going to go too crazy with um, getting it all painted in. Because I'm going to add um, some of that bronze, I think. Some of that bronze paint in here. I might go back into that chain and fix it after I'm done with this um, live stream because it's driving me crazy. One thing is perfection. Another thing is to be short, okay? <laughs> we can't have that over here. We can't have that chain being short. It's like the little elves didn't have enough material. We can't have that. All right, so we got that. I'm going to pull another brush for the bronze because I don't want to make the bronze black, even though I know it's subsequent to happen, but we're going to figure it out. I'm going to use this rack brush, rake brush. What is a rake? Yeah, a rake brush to add... Um, the bronze that's what this is no copper so and i'm just gonna be very free and loose with this whatever happens kind of happens can you guys see am i too close or too far oh no i love Jeannie, that's too much. <laughs> You've gone too far. <laughs> You've gone too far, Jeannie. Gone too far, darling. I think I'm going to add a little bit of the green in here. Some of that green wax. I think that that'll look cool up here somewhere. Um, kind of like a makeshift patina, if you will, even though the color's a little too bright for a patina, but I think um, it'll add a little bit of something, something to this. So I kind of like that. It's like very rustic-y kind of looking. Um, like the paint catches where it catches, nothing too crazy. Yeah, super pretty. Oh no, you planned this too? Oh no, I would be nervous too. I would be nervous too. I'd be like, what you talk about, Willis? <laughs> what you trying to do to me? I've been looking at everything very like, hmm. So I'm gonna dry brush this and I'm gonna dry brush it right on. And let's hope for the best. Let's just hope for the best. 
I don't like it. I could always paint over it. I kind of like it though. Hi, Dorinda. Welcome. So I've dry brushed this on. I'll probably go back over it a little bit more later once it dries up a little bit and I can actually um, get some better grip on it. But I do like what it's looking like so far. So now let's work on the bottom. Now my bottom is not all the way dry. So what I'm gonna do is start with my darkest, which um, besides the black, which I don't think I'm gonna use the black. You know, I already have black on there. So I'm going to start with this um, Rich Espresso, which is the brown. And I'm going to start kind of um, adding that in there. And I'm going to go back to my dark brush, my black, the one that has like the black um, in it. And I have the Leaning Tower of Pisa happening next to me, but we're going to survive. We're going to survive. Um, let me spray some water into my gold because my gold is drying out. Well, it's not drying out. It's dry. It's there. And my burnished brass. How's that doing? Burnished brass also needs some moisture. So we're going to add some water into that as well. And just allow that to sit while I come in here with some of this brown, you guys. So I'm just gonna load up this brush. This is my steampunk hand. <laughs> and we're just gonna dry brush it everywhere. Pick up some of this um, brick pattern. Kind of peek through. I'm loving what this is looking like right now. Hopefully, you guys can um, see it. Wait, wait, this up. See. You guys see that mess? <laughs> Usually, you guys don't see that <laughs> when I'm creating. The mountain goes piling and piling and piling over there where my laptop is. See my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dry brushing this brown on. And this is like the one arm challenge because I have my hands in here so I can grab my little jars and do what I need to do to get this material on there. And I've only been on for two hours and 16 minutes and I'm almost done, you guys. I think I'm about to break the record today. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Gotta add some stuff in there to um, cover up my, my little seam. I see the seam there. Maybe I can make it look like little um, bolts or something. I think I'm gonna add like little brads in there um, to make it look like it's being held up. Like it's a tin can um, tower. So I'll add some little bolts, um, not bolts, some brads. I really like how this is looking though. Can you guys see all the bricks?
Oh, uh, no problem, Tanya. I'm going to be here for a little while. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> You're good, darling. You're good. No worries. No te preocupes. I'm not going nowhere right now. I mean, I'm not. I can't speak for everybody. So, let's go. Let's go. Add this paint on. Make it pretty. Let's add this paint on and make it pretty. Make it pretty. Make it pretty. Let's add this paint on and make it pretty. Do, 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 do. All right, let me stop because then I literally will have that stuck in my head <laughs> for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Why did you say something? Yeah, you know I'm always in my own world. <laughs> I'm always in my own world, girl. You know this. You know this. Okay, do I want to do this with this brush? A little bit more water in here. Yes, all of the, the um, deco arts. Uh, oops, too much water. All of their uh, metallic lusters are gorgeous, and I'm not saying that because they send them to me. I'm saying that because I use them, and honestly, they are off the hook. I'm not gonna lie. They are amazing. And I love the fact that even when it's dry, I can still use them. I mean, they're super versatile. I've tried some of their products that I'm like, eh, I don't think so. <laughs> so, you know, every a company's not going to get everything right. But when it came to these, they got it. The only thing that I wish would be that they, um, they would last a little bit longer being uh, creamy. That's the only thing that I wish. I'll still be able to use them as a watercolor regardless if they're creamy or not. But I just wish that there was a little bit more creamier. You know, the, the creamier uh, will last longer. The consistency will last longer. But other than that, I absolutely love it. Because I can still use it no matter what consistency it's in. And that's why they get away with it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be like, eh, I don't know, Deco Art. Can we revise this, rework this. That was the burnished brass. It's a little dark. Um, I think between the browns and the blacks that I have going on in here, it might be a little too dark for it. Thank you, Jamilani. Yes. I think this, this should be on everybody's wish list, honestly. This is that product, you guys. This is that product that you definitely want to have. And I think for me is the fact that um, I have my radiator, like right where my desk is, and that's where I store them under there in the little cabinets. So hopefully um, I'll be able to move that over to a different wall that doesn't have a radiator there because I have the floorboard um, radiator, and that'll hopefully be a little bit better, and they won't dry so fast on me. I mean, they don't dry so fast. I don't want to make it seem like they dry overnight. They don't dry overnight, but um, they do dry. They do dry. So I'm just kind of passing this over. Just kind of um just putting it uh very loosely on top, whatever catches catches. Have fun with it. And here I thought I was going to spray on. Yeah, no, nah, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I do like it. Let's add a little bit of that gold up here. Let's see. Yeah. 
what happens. So this is like a lot of um, it's all chipboard paper and it's um chipboard uh cardstock. Well, it's just chipboard, not cardstock. It's chipboard. Um, but it's not the best kind of chipboard. It's actually like the chipboard that they make cereal boxes out of. The minute I add any water to this, um, it'll be crazy. It'll be insane. It'll be a hot mess. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy Donnie. Thank you, thank you. So, not bad, right, for a can of breadcrumbs. <laughs> Not bad. Let's add a little bit of that green in there. And I um, think I'm going to add a little bit more of that espresso in there. And maybe a little bit of that gesso. Let's see. Not sure yet. Not sure what the gesso what I'm going to do. I just want to bring some of the bottom in there. Add a little bit of hue of that green. Some of those pieces. This is um, what? Help that along a little bit. So I can add some of this in there. Thank you, Isabel. It does. <laughs> yes. So I love this thing. I love it, love it, love it. Just adding a little bit of green. Should I add? And I think this is good, right? I shouldn't have to add any more colors. So I think that we um, pretty much have this under control, right? Between these colors, I think that that'll good I think that'll be good I'm gonna work on the little roof uh, a little bit, but I think I think I really like it. Yes, definitely looks like some fool's gold. Um, let me add some of this espresso on the top, just to kind of bring it all together and add a little bit of darkness in between here. And then I'm gonna hit, um, hook up my glue gun again and get the tool in there. I'm gonna poke some holes, get some batteries, and we are going to have a light show. And let's see if um, my idea works, or if my, you know, what I was thinking about came out to be. This is not necessarily my idea. A lot of people put lights into their projects, so I put lights into my projects too. I love adding lights into my projects. So this definitely was something that I'm like, I like the length of it. I can definitely stash, stash in there some. Uh, little lights. So why not? Why not? So I like that. I like that. I'm going to bring a little bit of the black back into the top. I'm just going to dry brush it on and add a little bit of the black back into the top, but I like that. I'm just gonna grab a couple drops of paint 
and I'm just gonna dry brush it. I'm actually gonna wipe off the excess. Just add a little bit of um, black back in here. Right along uh, some of those edges. It'll help me to create uh, the illusion of depth, I think. A little bit of shadow. Like that. Okay. All right, I think um I think that's it for the paint job. I want it to look very um uneven. So I'm kind of doing that on purpose. I'm um, letting the meat kind of uneven. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I like me steampunk. I just don't do it that often because I tend to use up all my pieces that will be steampunk on other projects that are more shabby. <laughs> so I kind of mess up in that in that way. Yes, I do. I admit it. Sometimes I have a little bit of a problem. I don't want so much of that white to show. So just adding more of the copper in there. I think I need to add a little bit of that copper in here just to get a little bit of color. So it's not so, um, you know, a little bit of everything that's in the top should be in the bottom. So that, not that they're mirrored, but um, I don't know, guys. I'm just obsessed with painting. Why am I making excuses? Just paint, girl, paint. Just a little bit, you guys. Just a little bit. Ah, I always go so much and I just go so far. I can't help it. I have a problem. Somebody call Painters Anonymous. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Carmen, stop, stop, stop. You guys ever seen that movie, Idle Hands? <laughs> For the hand is just like all over the <laughs> This is what kind of what I go through. Oh my goodness. I have a problem, you guys. I have a problem. <sighs> All right, I'm done. Yay. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Totally done. Totally done. Totally done. Let me just use up some of this paint that's here. Now, because I stifled this on, my paint will have somewhere to grab. So I'm just going to paint the base copper. Because I might as well have, I poured out a lot of copper there. I'm not gonna paint the inside copper, just um, the outside. Some of that paint is, um, some of that gesso is still wet, so it's trying to um, blend in a little bit. Doesn't matter because the copper is gonna overpower it anyway. All right, so my base is created. I don't care so much about this because I'm going to get a piece of paper, cut it out, and glue it in there at some other point in time. This is pretty much done. I love it. Hello, Tiana.
All right, so we got that going. The only thing left to do, honestly, you guys, at this point in time, is just glue the tool in and um, add my lights. We're done. I'm only going to poke, I think, like a few holes in there. Um, I don't want to overwhelm it too much because I didn't paint the inside, so I don't want it to look too crazy. So let me um, glue, add my glue. Let me put this over here. I'm going to turn my glue back on. This thing doesn't have an off button, so I have to plug it back in. That's going to take a few minutes to heat up again. And I think this came out absolutely off the hook, even if I do say so myself. These are the lights that I'm going to be using. These are those Dollar Tree lights, but they're in purple. But I think the purple will go well with this, I think. Hopefully, if not, it's still going to go well with it because that's what we have. <laughs> so it is what it is, and we're going to use it. And I think this came out super, super cute. And all on its base. I'll be able to push it in once it goes dry. I don't want to. I don't want to force it in there yet, and then I have to force it back off because it's not dry yet. I still have to add this. So I'm gonna get myself some AA batteries while this is heating up. I'm gonna keep it in there so it can do what it's gotta do. Um, and yes. How did you guys like the angle? Do you prefer the top angle? So I got me some cheapy choppy batteries right here. Hopefully they'll be strong enough to light it up. Ah, I'm so glad you like it. I guess I'll try when I'm working on flat projects like journaling, canvases, I'll do the top view. When I'm working on dimensional structures like this, like probably for building my houses, I'm going to have my view on this angle because I think it's just easier for you guys to see the side view than always looking from the top and me having to lay things flat. But I absolutely love it, love it, love it. Let me bring this up a little bit. There we go. Um, give you guys a little close-up view of what it is looking like. And I think, like I said, I'm going to add um, on the little seam right here, I'm going to add probably some little brads to make it look like it's got screws in it. <laughs> you like the side angle, Jackie? Cool beans. So I love it. The door came out super cute. <laughs> and the huge door, not um, the huge um, keyhole. And the little um, ropes. This is a mechanical place, you guys. So I think that the ropes add a lot to that um, idea of things having to get. Like when you open up this big door. Well, you open up the door with the big humongous key. All of these things start moving. Like that's how I see it in my mind. <laughs> but I think it came out super, super cute. I love it. The little um, birdies right on the top. I wish I would have had more. <laughs> But now it gives me an excuse to make some more because I was literally like not using them. So I want to make them out of plastic. So I want to use my filament pen. But I didn't want to start making more until I got rid of those little um, um, polymer clay ones. I, I'm not a fan of polymer clay. Some people can do it. I'm not one of those people. My polymer clay breaks. No matter what I do, it breaks. I can cook it whole. Right, because I, I um I've boiled it and I've baked it and it comes out exactly the same. So boiling is a lot easier and no fumes. So I boil it, um, and then it still happens. I've baked it and it still happens. I thought that maybe because I was boiling it, like that's why they were breaking. So I kind of did a little test run, 
and um, bake the fuel. And no, they still break. It's purple. So yeah, I was not a happy camper. And they all started breaking. I mean, the thing is that I, I, I did like a, a whole bunch. I like mass produced it. Come on. Are you even turning your tiny little screw? Do I have to go and get my tiny little screwdriver? Or can we do this old school style with the scissors? This is how I used to always unscrew stuff when I was there. <laughs> you like it better from the top, Tanya? Let there be light. So this is what we're gonna add in there. Um, I'm just gonna put it together, but I'm not gonna screw it in just yet. Just gonna put the screw back in, but I'm not gonna close it all the way. So I'm probably not gonna keep the batteries in there. So we have our light. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some pieces of tool I'm drop this stuff. I'm gonna grab some tool and I'm gonna stuff the heck out of it. I think that that'll be really, really cool in there. But I wanna grab like a whole bunch and I don't wanna cut it. I just wanna like make it look really crazy and just jam it in there. Like that's what I wanna do. I wanna jam it in there. So I'm gonna get my handy dandy chopstick. <laughs> oh, okay. So you guys think that the lighting is um, brighter this way? What happens is it's not so much that it's darker because my lighting is in the exact same place and my camera's only moved a few inches. But what happens is, is that because the light bulb is actually over top and my camera kind of hangs off of this um, railing here, it casts shadow. And I think that that's what, you, like, that's what you see when you see it darker. Because it's on the side, it's not casting any shadow on it because I have my light bulb paint pointing in a different direction. Oh, <laughs> yes, purple lights, purple lights, because it's Halloween. So I think, I think we're good. I got my mama jamma over here. And I do not want to add glue hairs, but I feel that I must add glue. So I am gonna kind of shrivel this up in here and we'll jam it in there. And this is kind of like what I'm gonna do. Just gonna kind of jam it all in there. Oh, awesome. So this might be the thing to do then. I just have to make myself you guys have no idea right now. I'm such a DIYer. <laughs> How I got my camera hooked up. You will crack up if you saw. <laughs> I've been praying underneath it all. <laughs> this just doesn't fall off. <laughs> I'm like, no. If this thing falls off, this is like going to be the talk of YouTube. <laughs> Oh, 
I always struggle with lighting. Um, I've tried all different kinds of bulbs. I've tried so many different things. I always struggled with lighting. Yeah, but it would be crazy. It would be crazy. Just because of how many DIY things I do, like how I make things work around me. <laughs> it's a lot of tape. A lot of prayer. Amazon. Goes for around 20 bucks, girl. But this is a behemoth. This is a power horse. Okay. This thing is so hot. Right now I have it on 60. It's the only reason this is kind of tolerable. It gets so hot that it's like ridiculous. And the glue sticks are like oak trees. <laughs> but what I've noticed is it doesn't matter how big the tree is. It still goes quick. Still goes super quick. I have a review video on it. I have to put it up. I've just gotten a little sidetracked with other things. This is what it's looking like so far and it's just to um, pretty much give it a little bit of pretty much cover up the aluminum foil under there and also to just give it a little bit more sustainability if that's how you say it It's teeny tiny. It'll go away. It's really small. It's just like right there, a little dot. It's a little red still, but it doesn't hurt that much. It doesn't hurt at all, actually. It was like I, I just kind of like hit a teeny little drop of glue um, that was that fell onto the table when glue guns attack. You know. So this is where the Tin Man lives from the Wizard of Oz. Maybe. Kind of loop that in and then to this. I can't believe I actually cut the perfect amount. That is like never happens to me. I'm always short. Literally and figuratively. All right, so we got it. We got it. So what do you guys think with the black tool? Does it add to it or take away from it? I like the way it cast the shadow under it.
You can always suck it in more if you want. If you don't want to um, have it out like that, you can suck it in more. Hopefully that'll hold the roof together onto the base. Um, it'll add more, it'll make it a little bit stronger under there. So yeah. Okay. Thank you guys. Yay, you guys love it. That means I did a good job today. So I'm gonna turn this um, thing off and Let's add some lights and we are done. Then I will turn off the lights in here so that you guys can see what it looks like in the dark. And we are good to go. So what I'm gonna need is some poking tools. Let's see what I can find. This one might do the job. In case I need something a little longer. Well, I shouldn't need nothing more. Maybe I do. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm wondering. Maybe I should chomp a doll. Chomp a doll. What is it? Crump a doll? Chomp a doll? I don't know. Maybe we should crump it in the bottom. Add a um, few holes in the bottom, I think. Maybe like one or two on the sides. So I'm a chump of doll this thing, right? That's what you call it. Um, very low in the bottom. So it's like you can't really see it, but you can see it. Come on, chump of doll. You messed up my thing on my bob. I'm gonna have to paint that over. So let's see. Let's chomp a doll over here. Chomp a doll. <laughs> I don't even know that's how you say it. I'm chomp a doll this thing over here. Let's see. I gotta look to see where this thing kind of goes. Come on, chomp a doll. Let it go. Let it go. It's kind of um, taking off the paint wherever I do this thing. So I'm gonna have to add paint there. And then I'm just gonna poke some holes with my little stylus tool thing. Well, that'll work. Wait, I used the wrong one. Jesus. It's that one. Right? Oh, it's that one. Go over that hole again. Sure, I get it right. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and poke some holes with um, the stylus. I don't wanna go too ham. I don't wanna completely destroy this thing. So let's see what we do here. Um, let's try to go under the top. Will that even show? Jeez, that wax is hard. There we go. Lord. Lord, Lord. Okay, so we got one there. Let's add one on this side. Over there. Um, oh, wow, the tower. Oh, Lord, please, please. Please, please, please let this be worth it. Let this be worth it. <sighs> oh my God, I'm gonna have like a panic attack. <laughs> I'm gonna have a panic attack, you guys. Uh, please, please work. Please work. Look pretty, look pretty. Don't let these holes be for nothing. I'm gonna have to add some stuff. I could always hide it with some embellishments if I don't like what it looks like. So I ain't gonna worry about it so much, but uh, please, please, please work, please work. Okay. Um, 
I think that I will live on there. I think I need maybe a hole around here somewhere and down at the bottom one. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it, you guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We are gonna try it, you guys. We are gonna try it. We are gonna try it and see what it looks like and see what it looks like. Please, please, please. Please, please. I'd be slick like that and literally put those in there. Okay, bear with me, you guys. I'm trying to um, make the hole big enough to put the light popping out of it. See if that'll work. Nope, it will not. It's all right. We're just gonna open those up a little bit. Um. Okay. So I'll let Sasso know when to shut up the light. The paper swelled up a little bit because of the paint on it. So I just have to razzle it in there a little bit. Okay. So I think um, this is what it looks like, you guys. Let me shut up the light. You really can't see it too much. Just a little little dots of light. So I don't know. Yeah. I think what I want to do is get the lights out. So I'm gonna turn the light on again, you guys. I think if I get the lights to stick out of the holes, it'll make it that much more brighter. So I think not enough light is getting out of it. There's so many little light bulbs and I think not enough light is getting out of it. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna shut this off, this purple light. I'm gonna try to get the bulb in there so that the bulb pops out a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. So I think this is the very first one. So we're gonna put the very first one up there. Now I probably won't be able to get them in all the holes, but um, as long as I could probably get them in a few, I think that it'll it'll be worth it. <laughs> yes. So now you got something you guys can do with your Dollar Tree um, little lights. For sure. You guys can definitely do this. So I'm just kind of um, putting them through the little holes. Like so. And they're popping out. So I'm just trying to... Uh, Put them in there. 
use my little popsicle stick. So I'll do that. And thank goodness these lights kind of, um, they kind of hang a little bit everywhere that they connect. So it gives me a little bit of leeway to kind of like extend them around. I think once I get the lighting um, in their specific spots, it'll work a lot better um, as a lighting source, maybe like a little night light at night or something. Oh, wait a minute. So put it out of one spot, put it in the other. Now, I'm not going to fill this whole thing up with holes. I'm going to work with the holes that I already got. And let's see. There's one up there. Let's get this one going. And I'm going to put some of this in there. And then fill in the holes that I have in the bottom. And we're going to get this working. And then we're going to call this a project done. And hopefully it's a lot more brighter now than it was before. We're going to do this. A lot better. A lot better, you guys. Yay! Huh? Oh, spin it up. Oh. And you can add more holes because there's more bulbs to make it look even brighter. But I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I have to do a little bit of shaving. We're going to turn the lights back on now. I have to do a little bit of shaving here on um, this little piece that I added in there. This is what the inside looks like. This is what the inside looks like. I think if you was to go in there and maybe add a tiny little bit of hot glue, nothing too, too major if you want to fix this in permanently, or maybe you can just add a little bit of glue, let it dry before you actually put it to work. Um, count how many little bulbs are in here and then just poke holes for each one of the little um, bulbs and add all your bulbs in place, add some glue, fix it, because that's probably what I'm going to end up doing with this. Um, it's glue them in um, and you're good to go. You're good to go. I absolutely love the way that it came out. Um, and for a DIY, it looks like a, like a lamp that you would buy in a store. So I think uh, I did a pretty good job. So yes. Um, and yes, you guys, this too will be added to the things that I will be giving away at some point in time when I do more structures. Um, and I have a few more lights, so we'll see what else I can add lights to, but we'll definitely, definitely figure this out. So thank you all so, so much. Oh my goodness. What an awesome day it was. What an awesome productive day. Thank you all so much for being here. Have a blessed rest of the weekend, you guys. And yes. I will catch you all on the next one. And thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Bye. Just have to get my little button. All right, you guys. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye, all.